I will order direct contact at an unnamed centre with the supervisor chosen by the local authority. I'm not going to get into a separate procurement process. I mean, I, I, I can only repeat again, Miss Connolly, and you will explain what this means to your client. Yes. If your client can't prioritise Christian at one contact, then how can I trust her to look after a child long yes. term? And uh, uh, Malini, uh, uh, of course I will. And, and so is Malini then saying it should just be a direct contact? Direct contact. I just need a nod or a shake of head, Miss Kirby, once a week. Does that sound about right? Obviously, depending on how it all goes. Well, yes. Uh, at a minimum, once a week. At a contact centre, which will Negligent be motherfuckers. With a supervisor, contact will be conditional on the mother observing the normal rules. So, no aggression to anybody, Christian or otherwise, yes? No discussion of the court case with Christian. I suspect discussion of the court case with Christian might be slightly above his, his uh, age range, <laughs> but also no discussion of the father. Yes. And if those rules are broken, then contact will end. And my lady, so that we're absolutely clear, that is not requiring her to sign any document. It's just requiring no. her to abide by the rules. You have told me on instructions that she understands those rules. Yes. You will explain them to her again. They will be recited on the order, Mr. Vine. So whether she's signed something, if signing is a problem, then signing is a problem. But she's agreed via you to those rules. And to be honest with you, they're absolutely basic in any event. And would, with or without sight or... Yeah, and you will explain that again. I, I will. All right. I think that's probably the best we can do. Mm. So, Mr. Vine, back to uh, you. I know that's not what the local authority wants, uh, uh, but I think we, we have to see whether it works. And if it works, and as Miss Kirby says, until he has sat through three days of a stressful court hearing, behaved impeccably, and I'm going to trust her to be able to behave impeccably in the contract. Well, my lady, I'm not going to revisit anything, but that's the order you've made. We will faithfully draw it up. The order presents a difficulty for the local authority, which we will have to try to manage, which is that we imagine that any contact supervising staff will require some degree of formality about the terms and conditions. But I'm going to suggest that that is a bridge for us to cross rather than a task for the court, unless you see it otherwise. Well... I would suggest, given that there appears to be a psychological, some kind of barrier, which I'm struggling with, but you know, it's quite common for this court to struggle with other people's barriers. Why don't we say that a, a very basic expectation, such as those I've explained, can be signed by her lawyers on her behalf? Yeah? And you can tell the contact staff that I have indicated on the very particular facts of this case that I consider that to be sufficient. And I feel like that is the most I can possibly do. <laughs> I think that might be a, a, a... I mean, obviously, I'm not asking the lawyers to say she won't be aggressive. No. I'm asking the lawyers to sign that she understands that if she is aggressive or says bad things about... talks about the father at all or raises court-related issues, then the contract contact will come to an end. I don't want to be abused in contact. I don't want to be abused in there is. I think the other thing that would be sensible, Mr. Vine, is for all contact to be fully recorded. I've never understood why that doesn't happen anyway. So if Ms. Hillier then says, it was all the contact supervisor's fault, they started abusing me, I will have a complete record, and if the worst comes to be the worst, I'll listen to it. Mr. Amber, do you have any way of communicating with your client? So I think I'm going to have to let him speak, because what... I can't understand why you haven't at least got an email address or a WhatsApp. Right. Because of the position my instructions are Mr. Fairbanks on to. If he wanted to come off the record, if he would have come off the record before today and left Mr. Bond unrepresented. Uh, so putting me in the position of being here without instructions. But your instructing solicitor presumably had a WhatsApp number. And we had an email. I've got an email from Mr. Bond because he quite inappropriately keeps emailing me. Has he not emailed you? Right, so I better go to Mr. Bond. Yeah. Mr. Bond, what is it you want to say? Um, 
I just would like to strongly advise caution in reuniting these two. I don't know why we're going to play Russian Roulette with this to see how it goes. Because how it may go and very likely will go based on all evidence and proceedings thus far. He will, my son will be harmed by this. And you're just gambling with it with this, and I think that's incredibly reckless. And it's not looking out for my son's best interest at all. His mother put a hit out to have me murdered. She almost killed him, and this isn't my opinion. This is evidenced by your own court system. So I don't know why we're going, we're almost spending this whole thing about how to reunite my abused son with his abuser. I think it's sick. But I have no power, and nobody listens to me, and nobody seems to care. So proceed in jeopardizing my son. Thank you, Mr. Bond. Uh, just uh, so I give a ruling on this, the evidence is that Christian uh, and the mother, uh, that Christian did uh, w was happy with contact before it was broken, and that the mother behaved appropriately during contact. Foster care does not agree with that at all. No, Mr. Bond, I'm not addressing you. I'm addressing the court. So far as any risk is concerned, I am confident it can be managed by a contact supervisor. Right, Mr. Vine, back to the agenda.
Um, I just would like to strongly advise caution in reuniting these two. He will, my son will be harmed by this. And you're just gambling with it, with this. And I think that's incredibly reckless. And it's not looking out for my son's best interest at all. I'm spending this whole thing about how to reunite my abused son with his abuser. I think it's sick, but I have no power and nobody listens to me and nobody seems to care. Hey. Hi. I'll tell you what's happened. He came, as soon as he came to the building, he did associate it obviously with contact with mom. Yeah, no, which I've been so ill advised, I'll tell you. <laughs> we'll go into that all. Yeah. Without, with your, without the expletives, yeah? You okay? You're okay. You're safe. Okay. Oh, you had a rough time, huh? You're okay now. You're okay now. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right, Keanu. You're safe. You're safe, okay? I'm here. How you doing, sweet boy? I've missed you. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. 